it looked interesting, the project in itself, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I should apply. I mean, the only way to find out if I'll win is to actually apply, so that's how uh, I um, came to applying for it. Anytime a, a composition competition comes about, I try to submit my music, not for the intention of winning, but more so just getting my music heard. Took a peek at it, and I was like, why not? So this last year, you know, once I learned that I won this award, I have been thinking about the orchestral piece I've always wanted to write. It was a special moment only because, like I said prior, there were a lot of high-profile people uh, involved with the organization, uh, world-class composers in my eyes, and the fact that they had considered my music for this really meant a lot. This kind of came in the nick of time because I was really scratching my head wondering if I should keep going with it. Something really that I'm excited about for this piece is that, well that, I'm more excited. I'm not worried I will get music out. I'm just excited to be able to do the things I've been wanting to do. I moved to San Francisco uh, to write this piece. Uh, the conservatory was gracious enough to offer their facilities such as their practice rooms, their studios. This is a, quite an extraordinary opportunity and I'm, I'm old enough to really kind of realize the sort of that, how, how amazing this opportunity is. I want to say how incredibly um, amazing this program is because it isn't a one-year thing, it's a 10-year investment and change takes time. It doesn't matter if you win or not, the fact that you are now on their radar, that's something really special. I really do feel that African-American composers definitely need more support. I understand the hesitation because you're not sure if you should apply or what, what that means, but you'll never know until you actually apply. And usually the application process, and I found this to be the case for me, is a great way to just think about what you've accomplished. I would tell them to go forth with the cognition of they're just getting their music heard. You're not submitting your music to win a composition competition. This isn't a sport. This is the opportunity to have your music heard by world-class musicians. For any musician, any composer, any player, um, you have to just keep true, I think, to your what it is that you're wanting to do. Investing in a 10-year, decade-long project, I mean, I'm just, I have no idea where we'll be 10 years from now, or how many people will have been affected. 